Hey, what's up, folks? If you were on the live stream this morning, I know I said I wasn't going to do a recap today, uh, but some pretty cool stuff happened later in the day. Some cool stuff with some ascending wedges, some channels, and I think there's some good educational information on how we can use these to our benefit, how we can profit, how we can take great setups using uh, these different patterns. So. Before I get into that, here is my week. I actually finished the day green today because of a setup that I took on Snapchat uh, using that ascending channel. If we take a look at the calendar, I finished four cents in the green today. I did take a few scalps just leading in right into the close just to get me to green. I was like down, I think like five bucks leading into the close. Uh, but alas, we are green. And recently I've been swing trading the indices and the large cap stocks a lot more and it's been going pretty well. So here's my here's my results. I, I must I'm, I might be a swing trader yet. Uh, so yeah, let's go over let's go over what I saw today. The first one it was QQQ, and I actually took a loss on this. It was pretty catastrophic if you saw it in stream. Basically, we had an ascending wedge, and then we had a channel that extended all the way back to the pre market. So these two points created a little channel thing that was going up at the same rate as, as this trend line here. So these two created a channel, and then we had this trend line which created a wedge. And as we started to lose this wedge, I ended up getting short, I ended up getting short right there, and I had a tight stop. I wanted three to one on this trade, so I shorted it at 356.58, and my goal was to see 355. And I only I wanted to do three to one, so my stop, I mean, I, I stopped, my stop was 50 cents, and we ended up getting stopped out pretty much to the penny. In hindsight, I should have moved my stop a little bit higher, probably above 35 was the correct spot. But uh, yeah, that was a huge bummer. So that was on 50 shares, so I took a $30 loss on that. And then right after I get stopped out, this is like the worst thing that can happen to you when you're trading is when you get stopped out to the penny and then it does exactly what you think. So I was targeting the other end of this trend line. Now, when you have these ascending wedges and you have a channel like this, whenever the ascending wedge breaks, you look for a trade back down to this trend line. And this happens like almost 100% of the time. It happens in any stock you trade, whether it's the indices, whether it's momentum stocks, I see it all the time. And so this was, a, I, I was correct on the on the read here, just poor placement of the stop. I did take a dip buy on the SPY today, but I'm not gonna cover that. Uh, we'll look at it really, really quickly. Basically, I just dip bought here. The indices were all overextended, coming into support. I just put a dip buy out. I didn't honestly know if this was gonna be the bottom or not. I just figured it would bounce. We had like some blow off volume and uh, yeah, I, I bottom ticked it. And yeah, in hindsight, I should have held. I should have held a lot longer, but it is what it is. Okay, let's get to the good stuff. This is, no, it's not AMC, it's Snapchat. Yeah, so lots of activity here on Snapchat. And let's just zoom out so we can take a look at the larger picture. Snapchat had gapped up on earnings, like 50%, 60% on earnings, amazing earnings. And into the open, uh, sold off, took out the high a day, sold off again, and then just grinded higher once we got past you know, $38, the, the high a day here. And as we were grinding higher, we had a really nice channel that we were following. So we had one touch there, two touches, three touches, and then boom, and then we ripped. And then as we just grinded higher, we had another channel that looked like that. Draw like that, perfect. So, oh, and then we had something kind of in the middle here. Not sure how I drew this, it was something like that probably. Yeah, kind of like the middle of the channel. The middle of the channel was pretty much support. So you'll see that as we get to the top of the channel, Usually we'll come back down to the middle of the channel and then continue upwards or we'll trade back to the bottom. Now, we had held the middle of the channel for a while. So then when we got to this point, this is when I decided to take a short because it looked like we were weak. We bounced at the middle of the channel. We started 
uh, we, we, we wicked up and then as we came back down I took a short against this high with 50 shares so I was risking I was risking about twenty dollars and then I added on this one as it looked like we were gonna break and I was waiting I was looking for this to for the for this to be the first break of this middle trend line and trade all the way back down to this bottom trend line and uh, we didn't do that I did take a little bit off here because it looked like we might bounce and we did so I'm glad I took those off and then I added here assuming that okay this is probably the top uh, this is a wick high and we have to sell off from here we're gonna retest the channel we're coming back down and uh, obviously we didn't do that so I covered I covered everything right there and that was basically a break-even trade okay so now what happens well we just grind higher we start grinding higher and this is dangerous guys shorting into a stock that's trending this hard is uh, pretty dangerous especially if you don't obey your stop losses and you don't have great risk to reward so I wouldn't advise doing this but basically I took a starter here at the top of the trend line and there is potential that we could just have a blow off move out of the top of this uh, over top this trend line that's totally possible and you don't know how far that's going to go the short play doesn't happen until you come back into trend or into the the channel the rising channel so yeah i just i took some off here as I, it looked like we were showing strength we put in a couple wicks we bounced and of course you know i covered the rest of my stuff there again another like pretty much break even trade and then here was the big one so now we really start to get extended from the channel and i take a shot here i take a shot on the high a day and I pretty much top ticked it that was nice and this was only with 10 shares so pretty small share size and my stop on this would have been like $41 so my risk was really tiny like four bucks initially now we sell off when we come back into the channel and I said in the discord if you're not in the discord I recommend going in there I make these call outs all the time uh, I said below $40 and I think we're gonna go to the other end of the channel because we had this blow off uh, from the top of the channel. So now we, we've gotten overextended from the channel and we should trade back into the channel, go to the other side. So at this point, we're trading back into the channel. I take another position and I say, okay, look, you know, now my stop is basically above 4050. If we trade above 4050 again, this might not be the top. We might be uh, set to run higher, but my stop is basically break even, essentially. So I added here with a basically break even stop and we sell off further. Okay, perfect. So I'm not adding yet, I'm not adding yet. I see us just huddling here. The, the indices look like they're gonna start rolling over. And as we get this wick here, it looks like we're, we might break down, so I add here. And then we get another wick high here. And I say, look, based on what the five minute chart looked like at this particular time, which I think I'm gonna zoom in and show you, over here on the left behind my head is the five minute chart. It doesn't matter the stuff that's behind the camera right now, but you can see this bar, the wick high in this bar. So I said, look, if this next five minute bar wicks above this high, I need to be out of the trade. And that was this wick right here. So that's why I added here because I knew I could move my stop to 40.25. And then we had this wick and I said, you know what? Uh, oh, I said, we had that wick and then we had this five minute bar and I said the same thing look we can't go above 4008 so I'm gonna move my stop to 4008 and I'm gonna add right here and this is it oh I we also had this trend line this was the big thing I think we had like this little trend line thing and I said okay you know this is it this is the place where it has to go or it has to turn around it's got to pick a direction I'm gonna add here, I'm gonna bump my stop right here, and I'm, I'm gonna break even now, right? We're just break even if this pops up, that's fine. And then as it sells off, I start to cover. I covered a little early because again, I was targeting that lower trend line area, which was a bit further down. It was all the way down at 38.72. So again, I'm just so quick to cover my, my positions. You know, I, I wanna get out with that profit. It, I would feel so bad and I'm afraid to feel this way where I'm so big in a profit, I could be green on the day, which now I was, thankfully. Uh, and then it turns around and rips rips back up in my face and now I'm either at a loss, I'm break even, I just had all this money and I just, you know, torched it. So I gotta get over that feeling because, you know, it, it was a great setup, 
you know, we had the targets. So there's there's the lesson, folks. If you ever have these channels that are they're well respected the entire way, you know, we've got multiple touches, and I'm talking clear channels, not things like ah, this could be a channel. No, this is a very very clear channel. So if you ever see one of these, you see extension off the top of the channel as we come back into the channel. It's a short. You target the other end of the channel. You put your stop above the highs. Um, that's pretty much it. So I hope this was a little bit educational for you guys. Again, if you're not in the Discord, that link is in the, uh, the video description below. So check that out. And uh, with that, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I will see you all Monday. Peace out.